Good morning everybody. I usually start off the video by saying hey we're back in the woods searching for World War II relics. Maybe we even find Hitler's lost gold. But ever since the war broke out in Ukraine I really don't feel like searching for wartime relics. But I want a metal detect. I want to make videos for you guys and I want to find Hitler's lost gold. So I decided to buy a ticket, pick a Brené and fly to Austria. Hey everybody, we're back, back at metal detecting. This time not in the woods and this time not in Germany. Um, I was very kindly invited by one of my patrons called Nino, um, who invited me to come to Austria and metal detect there. And um, we're gonna search for some World War II artifacts later on in the trip. But uh, today we don't have much time, so we decided to go to one of his permissions. Um, where he has found lots of Roman era artifacts, coins, fibulas, uh, uh, little little dollies or or, or, or or little little figures. That's what he found uh, here. So since we got a few hours left, we might as well metal detect and uh, look at this beautiful field. Let me just pan you around a bit. Well, towards the sun, that's not really smart to do thing. That's more, not a very smart thing to do, Mike, because. We're not gonna see but the interesting thing is this church right there this is a very old church it's medieval time and um, again uh, Nino has found many great things here so uh, let's do some metal detecting and see what we find here my second signal first signal was tin foil I uh, not gonna show you that but second signal was this actually a very nice find a coin and when we came out here, Nino said, you're gonna find coins. And I'm like, hell yeah, I wanna find anything. I don't mind finding uh, coins or whatever. But uh, this is good. Hey, there's actually a nice cross on there. I'll ask Nino what this is, he knows. He knows his coins, he knows his Austrian coins. I don't. Let's see if we can find a day together. I've got the camera so close that I can't see anything, so <laughs> you have to tell me. Can you see anything? A date, perhaps? I did see a nice cross right there. Yeah, let's just clean this up and uh, ask, uh, ask Nino about this. Well, Nino was right about coins because second signal or third signal, I must say, another coin. And too bad I don't know these coins. Oh, there's a date right there. And I'll probably get a lot of comments of the uh, do not rob your coins, Mike brigade. Um, they're a ferocious bunch and they won't let me alone because I rob coins. Hey, it's my coin right now. I found this. So uh, it says 1861. Without me rubbing it, you would not be even to tell that. So uh, 1861. Jeez, that's all. I like that. Nice coin. So we got a little get together after like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You tell me, you know, I, I think it's 15 minutes. I don't know, time flies when I'm metal yeah, detecting, but uh, <laughs> I found these two coins and you said this one was a? Uh, zwei Groschen, as a two Groschen. Two Groschen, okay. And that's from what, what time period? Because it, I can't you can, see. You can see it there, I think. Something. It was. Something 10. Th those were uh, 1920 ish. Mm, okay, Be beginning of the last century. Yeah. And the other one. Um, oh, Jesus. The other one, yeah, you have to help me out because I am. Um, this is, uh, yeah, one Kreuzer. 1860. Yeah, 1861, something. it says. One Kreuzer. Yeah. Oh, I got it even a pronunciation oh. right. <laughs> I also got the. <laughs> you got one too? Yeah, and a musket ball. And a musket ball. Okay, let's see what Rene has. 
Oh, you have a uh, hammer coin. Um, yeah, lead. It's better. A hammered? Oh, oh yeah, right. Wow. Yeah. What date would that be? Straight I feel 1800. Straight 1800? Oh yeah, I see now on the left and on the right. Yeah, there's an 18 on the left and a double zero on the right. Um, can you just flip it over for me because focus is now all right well there should be a hit on the back side no more yeah there's anyway. something over there well that's nice right after like i don't know how long are we detecting 20 minutes it's not long <laughs> well, not long it's uh, yeah it's very good indeed well we've been doing better than the host renee <laughs> <laughs> you know just look it up this cross is uh, at the back of this coin um on this coin could you it? yeah could you flip it over Right, yeah. And you actually said that it uh, uh, was pretty rare, right, this coin? Yeah, I don't know how long it got produced. From 1933 till 19... Right, it is like a, a Nazi era coin. Something like that, yeah. Wow, that is nice. Hey, you know, I do like Nazi era. I, I can't help it, okay? No, she, yeah. <laughs> I, it's she just me. Happy. Yeah, you can, yeah. Oh. Rene is at it with his girly spray. <laughs> what did you make of it, Rene? It's a little bit better. Well, the other trust side me, rubbing coins is much better than using a girly spray. <laughs> <laughs> People should just stop doing that and uh, man up. Well, it's pretty visible right now. Rene has a coin ball that's like a hump I hope so. of clay with uh, probably a coin inside. Uh, no, not. Doesn't sound hmm. that good, but let's just uh, show the nice people. Yeah, it's there. It sounded better, by the way. Yeah, it sounds much better now. It's a buff. Ooh! Ooh, it's a very nice little buckle. That's nice, man. Little surprise. I think it's like a little shoe buckle, don't you think? Yeah. 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 Probably uh, 70, 80 on it. Younger? Yeah. You're the expert. Yeah, 17. 700? Nice. Well, well done, Rene. Nice little coin ball <laughs> with a buckle in it. <laughs> <laughs> Although the Garrett 80 Max is performing perfectly on this field, it didn't need to do a very hard job here because this was right on the surface. I just scooped away the sand with my big boot and uh, this came out. And uh, hey, I think it's a wartime coin. Like Nazi era war German. Ah, this has to be, I found a lot of these I can't imagine it being here, but I'm gonna ask, uh, you know, in a sec, no, it's not. It says 1995, right? <laughs> or 25, what the hell? Oh no, it says 1925. I thought it was a very modern coin. Well, I asked Nino, he knows. He knows. Nino, can you help me out here with, uh, with this coin? I think it's, um, it says 1925. You can probably ah, recognize it right a, away. A Renten Fennig. Is it Austrian? Because the German had like a similar yeah. uh, those pattern. Are, those, those are for, uh, the German ones. The German ones. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I knew it. The one you know, the 10 uh, Fennig. Yeah. And there are also five ones. Yeah, right. So this is German. Yeah, I thought so. Um, well, it's very cool to finding that here in Austria. It's no surprise to be honest because there were a lot of Germans here back in the days, but still a nice find, right? Finding foreign coins in different countries. That's nice, yeah? Yeah, it's nice. Well, the thing is we're actually pretty much addictive to, uh, addicted to uh, the World War II time period, the Nazi era. Um, and Nina was just telling, hey, uh, Rene and Mike, did you do you see that hill up there, um, close to the field where we're at? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, I found a couple of Hitler Youth badges in the past there. 
<laughs> we've only wanted to do metal detected field, but we can't resist. We're going out there. So far, no Hitler Youth badges, just two empty casings Rene found. Um, but we'll, you know, we'll circle around here and uh, see if we can find anything and head back uh, to the field where we started, to the car. Um, I think when we get there, the sun will be down. And it's beautiful here. It really is, man, you live in a beautiful place, uh, you know. Uh, seriously, Austria. yeah. <laughs> That's Austria, yeah. <laughs> Let me just. Uh, he, uh, Nina said it was okay if I show the surroundings, so I will because uh, it's really worth the shot. And um, I'll pause for a second and. Uh, yeah. What, sorry? A deer? You saw a deer? Oh, I was just was talking right through that, sorry. Um, let me just walk towards that tree. Maybe we can still see the deer, but you can also see the, the view a bit better. Oh, I'm sorry about that noise, by the way. That's my thumb on my camera. Oh, look at this place. From that forest behind me, nothing much came out except a couple of casings and, and now here to my left that uh, Rene, right there, found another K98 casing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swoop back, back on the field, um, go over the field uh, once more, see if we can find some more coins and then uh, go back to the car which is parked right there at that uh, White House. Well, we're back on the field, as you can see. And uh, my first find was a piece of a plow and Nino's first find back on the field was this beauty. I love pendants. That's a very nice one. It's very thin, but still cool find, Nino. Thanks. We only have like 10 minutes of daylight left and uh, we're halfway the field. Uh, we came from back there. And uh, the car is uh, parked somewhere there. But I don't think we have much daylight left. So uh, I thought I'd say goodbye to you. I wanted to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, not much World War II relics, but you know, something different for a change. And um, you're gonna see uh, some more of us here in Austria. Metal detecting in this beautiful country. Um, we're gonna hop along with uh, Nino uh, for a couple of days. So uh, I think you're gonna see some more of that. I wanna thank my patrons, your names are right here and here. And I wanna thank you for watching and uh, take care. Stay safe guys and uh, peace out, bye bye. <laughs>